Hey guys, Josh and 209 here with another tutorial. This time it's going to be on how to change out the oil in a in a shock. Uh, it can be any shock. I have the stock Traxxas Ultra Shocks here for my Rustler, and this is going to be how to change them or to change the oil. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pop off this end cap. Basically, you just pull up, and then there's a little groove in it, which allows you just to slide it off. Put that to the side, and you take your spring off. And then, if you have any preload on it, which I do have preload, you're just going to take it off, along with the spring retainer thing. And, I, I'm just going to wipe this off. It's, it's a little dirty. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing you're going to want to do with this is unscrew the cap right there. Um, so let's see where is it. Whatever. I am going just to use a regular screwdriver. Just put it in there. And and grip it or and torque it off and then you're just gonna spin it oh wait here but make sure you have something to catch the the oil I just have a little Dixie cup and then you're just gonna kinda take the cap off set it aside and then all the oil just dump it in And then I usually let that sit for a while. So I'll do that to all the rest of my shocks. And then I'll come back and show you, show you how to fill them all. Okay, I'm back and <clears throat> I have emptied out all of the shocks. All of them. Yep, they're empty. And the oil. Yuck. Ooh. Yeah. That's it's pretty gross. So this is a good time to clean them. And I've also gone ahead and painted my springs. I don't know if you saw them before. They were green. Well, originally they were white. Then I painted them green. And now I painted them white again. You can see a little bit of the green. And, um, yeah, they turned out all right. They're fine. I got more paint on my hand whatever and so now I will show you how to like clean your shock so I have one of the rears it's the the longer one cuz see it's longer and basically what you're gonna do make sure there's no uh, oops, no oil left in your um, left in it and then you're gonna uh, take like a little piece of foam just a little piece of foam put it around there around the shaft take your pliers and then grip grip them oh wait oops hold on there we go and then just unscrew the eyelet And it'll come right off. And come on, there you go. See? Yep, here it is. And it's off. So you can just set the eyelid aside. Take off your pliers, put your foam away. So now you have this. You're gonna want to slowly push it up and then where it's threaded. Oops, you're going to want to, um, go on focus. Focus? Okay, whatever. Well, where it's threaded, you're going to want to push slowly through the, the seals. Because you don't want to damage them. Because then you, 
because then you'll have a leaky shock, which <laughs> is not fun. And you push, just give that a little tap. Some more, some more oil might uh, come out, which is fine. I'm just gonna whoop, and set the body aside. This this thing, and then I like to wipe this down. Just because shock oil on hands is, I, it annoys me because it does not go away very easily. And, oh, hold on. Okay, sorry guys, that was my charger. Um, the battery was done. So anyway, and then with this, if you're going to replace the piston, which is that black part, um, it's got two tiny little holes in it yeah you can't see that but that that lets oil through um, yeah you can kinda see one kinda just right there on the side but anyway it's held down with two eclips one two yeah two and then you just take off one of them the easiest way is to take off the top one and then just slide that off and put it back, put the new one on. But yeah, okay. So that's good with the shaft and the piston head. And so now with the body, to check your seals, at least with these shocks, you're gonna wanna um, unscrew this bottom cap. And then it'll just fall off like that. And then there's your seals, and I'm just going to use a little screwdriver. You want to be careful not to lose them, or not to break them. Because then you have to get a replacement kit, or sorry, a rebuild kit. Come on. Okay, this is a butt. Um, there we go. Yep, number three. And so, then I will just take them off, Oops. and just set them down, and just try and clean off the oil. But yeah, it come. There are two of these little blue ones, blue rubber squishy ones, or not ones, but seals. And then this one hard plastic one. Yeah, it's it's thicker than both. Both of the rubber ones. And. I'm just going to clean my. The body just a little bit more. Some paper. With some Kleenex. Okay. And so. You have. That with a hole in it. And it goes. Blue. Black. Blue. Or in other words, rubber, plastic, rubber for seals, or for the seal. And then take your cap, <coughs> cap again, and just screw it on there. Nice and tight, don't want any oil leaking out. And then again, I'm going to just clean the inside of the tube, or of the body. Not clean it, but get the oil out of it with a Kleenex. And then there you go. <clears throat> and so now you take this or the shaft, insert it so that it. Let's see if I can do this. Um. Okay. Uh, there we go. And then slowly push it because again, remember the threads will tear up the seals. Slowly push it. And then. Just kind of twist it. And then once you I pass that, just pull it. And then you're going to want to, again, get your, your foam. Your pliers. Grip it. Take your eyelet. Screw it on there. Okay, why is it not right? Okay. Um...
Yeah, screw it down there. Screw it down all the way. It doesn't matter which direction it's facing, because you can always change it. That. Um. And then. Okay. It goes that better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And so then this is the rear. So I am gonna. Well, I have 30, 40, 50. 30, 40, 50, 60 weight oils, and I will do 50, 50 weight, um, I use team, factory team, 50 weight, yep, well I use team associated oil, and so you unscrew the cap, and then there's this seal, which is really nice, because if this ever comes undone, you're going to have one hell of a mess to clean up. And so, uh, some oil does leak out, just, they're from the top. And so then, anyway, you just take it, and it comes, ah, crap, and it, <laughs> and it just comes right out, damn it. Um, put the, oh, God, I'm going to put the cap away. You have your oil, put, or put the, oh my gosh, I don't know, the blue thing <laughs> away, screw the cap on, or the nozzle, and then, sorry about this guys, unscrew the top part, and then up we go. And then you are going to, this is tricky, you don't want to fill it up all the way, but let's see how far is that, uh, okay, it's about halfway. What the fuck? God, this is this is stupid. Okay, that just snapped. Um, but yeah, about three quarters to two thirds of the way full. And then you're just gonna sit there and let all the air bubbles fall or get out. And. Because you don't want air in your shocks. Because so, that helps to make a leaky shock. And then, okay, where is this? Yeah, and then, I'm sorry guys. The bottle just snapped and it's dripping oil. And so, yeah, you're just going to let it sit, let the air bubbles come out, and then I will do that for all, for all four of my shocks, and I'll come back. Okay. Okay, I'm back, and I have filled and bled all the shocks, so now none of them have air, which, in them, which is really good, and they all feel about the same. Yeah, which is which is good. I know, I think before I said I was going to use 50 weight in the rear shocks, but I mixed them up and I used 40 weight all around, so front and rear, which is fine. But, yeah, it's, I you can see I put on gloves because I kept getting oil on my hands. And, so yeah, th this is, um... So now I will show you how to put the preload clips on, but if your shocks don't have preload, then they'll probably, or they'll, no, then they will have like a little spin thing, or it'll be threaded on here, so you can just twist like a big screw to tighten your uh, spring, <clears throat> but I don't have that, so 
I'll start out with the rear shocks. What I use is, I'm pretty sure, two of these big thick ones that just go on and then slide up. Two of these big thick ones. And then, I believe, a medium one, not a thin one. Well, they're thin, but not a, not a super little one. And then goes on the shock collar, which it looks like that, which it just gives the spring something to rest on. And then you take your spring, and you scrunch it down, so it's like that. Take the, ret <clears throat> the retainer, and then put it on. Oh, my glove is stuck. Okay, then there you go. Oh, there's a little bit of air in that one. Okay. Well, the other ones don't have any air. So, yeah. That's one shot down. Three to go. Okay. So, I have... Now, I have all four of them. All four of my shocks. Um, oops. All four of my shocks done. And... I told you the rears, how much preload, two big ones and then a medium one. And then up front, I used um, a medium and then a thin one. I don't know if you can yeah. see a, midi a medium and a thin one. And, yeah, they turned out really nice. I think that, oh my god, <laughs> well, that's what a shock is for. Um. Yeah, I think that these are the best ones that I've ever done. Like, there being no air. And yeah, I think that, yeah. So yeah, that's how to empty your shocks, clean them, check the, the seals, and fill them. Fill them up and then set up your shocks with the springs and the preload and the retainer. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.